Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about the perfect resume creation. So in this video, I'll teach you how to use this modern day tools like ChatGPT and a advanced resume builder and create your impressive DevOps and cloud resume. So by the end of this video, let's say you don't have a resume at all, but still by the end of this video, I'll take a job description live from LinkedIn and I'll show you how to use this job description and build your resume in 15 minutes. I'm not exaggerating anything. I'll create a DevOps and cloud resume in 15 minutes that will definitely get selected for the job description. It's going to be very, very informative video. So please watch this video till the end so that you will be ready with your DevOps and cloud resume. Now, without any delay, let's get started. All that you need to do for today's video is have an account with ChatGPT or have an account with OpenAI and that's all we need today. Rest I'm going to show you step by step how to do it in the next 15 minutes. Okay, so the first thing that I've done is just logged into ChatGPT. Let's say you don't have account with ChatGPT or you haven't used it before. It's very, very simple. Just search for OpenAI on your browser. Click on the first link and then just click on the sign up button so that you can sign up and log into chat GPT using your Google account. You can use your Google account. Perfect. Now, this is the chatbot chat GPT. There are two versions GPT 3.5, which is completely free for now and GPT 4, which is like $20 per month. I'm not using it. So you can use the GPT 3.5. Now, the entire game of chat GPT lies in the prompt that you are giving it. That means how you are instructing chat GPT to get an answer from it. Now, what I want to do in this video is I want to use this chat GPT as a resume builder. So watch carefully. What are the prompts that I'm giving it to it? So firstly, I'll tell chat GPT act as a resume builder. Now this resume builder has to create resume according to the job description. What I'll do is I'll go to LinkedIn and I'll get a job description. I will submit that job description to this chat GPT and it will prepare a resume for me. So let's see. Uh, let me give an instruction that act as a resume builder. Who creates resumes according to the job description. Okay, so now this chatbot or now this chat GPT has taken my prompt and it will create resume according to the job description. But that is not done. Always with this GPT models or the large language models, you have to provide as much input as possible. So make sure you are not providing the precise information, but you are providing as much information as possible. That is the whole game of large language model. So now I will give it some more details stating that I am looking for resume on DevOps and cloud. Now let's say I'll provide some uh, number of years of experience to it. I have uh, five years of experience in DevOps and cloud. Okay. Now the next thing that I'll do is I'll explain it even further that I have worked in, uh, let's say two companies. Okay. So it depends upon your experience, modify it accordingly. If you have worked in three companies, provide three companies. If you have worked in one company, provide work company. I have worked in two companies and I want to show this DevOps and cloud experience in these two companies. Okay. Let's say you want to show DevOps experience in only one company and in the other company you want to show as build and release engineer or systems engineer. You can provide that as well. Then what I'll tell it is make sure you add some real time troubleshooting and use cases according to the job description. 
in the resume right and the final prompt that i'm going to give it is please provide this resume in a proper resume format okay and what i'll tell it is wait for me to provide you a job description okay so now you can simply enter the prompt now what chat gpt will tell you is okay i'll wait you I, i mean i'll wait for you to provide the job description okay so what is it saying certainly please provide me with the job description for devops and cloud positions okay meanwhile it has just given me the outline of it but now it is waiting for me to provide the job description so what i am going to do is i'll go to linkedin okay so this is my linkedin and what i am going to do is i am going to search randomly for a devops and cloud job position click on the jobs button and let's pick up one of the job okay click on show all and uh, now what i am going to do here is let's pick up let me go for a mid range so that uh, it will be easy for everyone to understand so let's say i am going to apply for okay let me type here devops devops engineer right search senior devops engineer lead devops engineer uh let's go with devops okay let's not go with devops architect let's search for devops engineer 3 is it fine or let's pick up one from here itself okay so senior devops engineer i don't know what company is it i am just randomly picking it up and now i'll go to their job description let me increase the font uh, a bit so looks like it is a position on uh, azure devops now let me pick up uh, the job description what are we looking for right this is what they are looking for so i'll copy these things and i'll just paste these things in the chat gpt okay i'm not telling it anything i'm just pasting the entire job description here and click on the enter button now see that it will create the entire resume for me and this resume is according to the job description and there are so many chances of your resume getting picked up for that job description right so many times people get confused now how do i prepare the resume uh, according to the job description so this is the best way to do it and see let let the prompt get completed i am going to show you how beautiful this is right so i asked it that show my work experience in two companies so it said company 1 and company 2 so all that you need to do is provide your personal details professional summary it has created exactly according to what i have provided i said that devops and cloud engineer with 5 years of experience it has mentioned and then it said that you know have good experience on azure platform azure devops azure kubernetes service why because the entire job description is on it and then it has provided the technical skills you can put this in tabular format i'm going to show you how to prepare your resume in best format as well for now uh, watch this carefully so the technical skills are also provided you can take this technical skills and finally it split the entire job description and it split your work experience in those two companies right so if you see here this is a 100% ats match profile because everything that is in the job description is available here for example you can search for azure monitor okay there will be at least one point related to azure monitor if not exactly uh, see here utilized azure monitor and log analytics you can search for anything that will be part of this resume there is azure devops there is aks everything that is mentioned here right so this way see there is aks then somewhere there should be azure devops see there is azure devops so this way you can prepare a 100% matching ats or any tool uh, let's not go detailed into the uh, resume scanners or anything so you can pick up any resume scanner and this resume will get picked up so this way you can prepare your interesting impressing resu impressive resume and now all that you need to do is just go here modify these details put this technical skills in the format you can uh, you know randomly update your company details and 
there are some real time troubleshooting and use cases that have requested so you can take this real time troubleshooting and uh, use cases and either you can put them as a different section or you can copy them onto the companies as well like you can add couple of points here and couple of points here isn't this amazing now let's try with one more job description so that now we have tried azure right now let's try something else uh, let's try something on aws if we find will we find something on aws let's search here aws devops engineer okay uh the feed does not give us any aws position that's fine let's pick up this one okay uh lead aws terraform engineer we got one okay now let's give this roles and responsibilities just provide as i mean whatever is in the responsibilities just provide the same thing so now let me copy this and let's see how will my resume look like so it is preparing another resume for me and what it is trying to do here there is seven plus years of experience in aws that's why it modified your experience to seven plus years don't worry simply change that to five but look at all the other things that are provided it said you have experience in aws github python terraform groovy and node.js and it also mentioned that you have 24 by 7 support and service availability experience let's see why it mentioned in that way somewhere here there should be your uh, service experience see here there is python there is uh, terraform there is uh, github uh, jenkins and it asks for operational tasks handling incidents and changes usually the incidents and changes works in the support model that's why chat gpt has provided that i also have experience in rotational shifts late nights and 24 by 7 see how intelligent is it so this is the power of large language models and the prompt engineering so here if you watch carefully everything is because of my prompt i have provided the prompt in such a way that chat gpt gives me the perfect answer right so now again it uh, gives me two companies and within the two companies it has uh, provided the experience that is according to the job description if you provided that you need experience in three companies it will give you according to three companies so perfect now let's try to put this in a resume builder now again there is a lot of uh, concern amongst a lot of people which resume builder should i use right there are so many resume builders but some of them are paid some of them are free some of them are something that you don't know so the best thing that i would suggest is go for canva okay just go to canva.com and search for resume just search for resume and you know it will give you a lot of resume templates and everything that is with pro are not free other things without pro are free let's say i want to pick up any of these resume formats uh, let's take a very very simple one uh, let me pick up this one uh, this is looking very simple so i'll click on this button and click on the customized template now it is according to you and up to you which resume that you want to pick i just picked up one random format just increase the uh, uh, font size and just go back to your chat gpt all that you need to do is copy this summary from here and put it in the canva right just copy it from there remove it and paste it if you think it is exceeding you can just reduce the size and you can fit it in the screen or else other thing that you can do is just remove couple of things from here now this way just provide the company name location and again in one company see there are two companies here one company that you have taken just remove this entire thing and update the things from here now i am not promoting canva or something you can pick up any resume builders but this is something that i know you can create for free last time when i used i used this canva.com for creating my resume so that's why i was recommending this but it is up to you whatever you would like to you can pick up your own resume template format but here you will find a lot of resumes for free so using this you can prepare your resume in 15 minutes and there is a very good chance that your resume will get picked up and you will have a very good ats score so 
how how uh, simple is this now you are not afraid of preparing resume right a uh, lot of times people ask me question that abhishek can you review my resume or abhishek uh, you know how should i prepare my resume no let's say that uh, i don't want to depend on a job description but i want to prepare resume according to the top skills in the market so again it is very simple what you will do is copy the prompt that i have just given and instead of instead of act as a resume builder who creates resumes according to job description just say that who creates resume on aws kubernetes terraform okay what are the things that are trending in devops right now let's try to put it aws kubernetes terraform ansible let's say git linux shell scripting and uh, did i miss something here anything that is uh, trending in the market and did i miss something okay let's say that uh, docker i mean let's restrict uh, these things here if you want anything else you can add it and do not change anything just say that okay i added wait for my uh, wait for me to provide a job description now remove this thing and just click on the enter button now you will get job description according to the things that you have mentioned that is this resume is trending and it is according to the market if you say that i just need one resume and uh, you know i have to keep this resume as a backup if some recruiter calls me i need to provide resume i don't have time uh, to prepare it according to the job description then go with this approach right in any case you are going to prepare the best resume and one thing that i would like to tell you is okay this is all perfect but let's say you have genuine experience on something like let's say you can write some points by yourself then yeah do it like you know what you need to do is take help of these tools as much as possible but if you are strong at something you can remove that point let's say uh, implemented jenkins uh, pipeline for ci cd let's say that you have done it for real and you have created a project instead of this point remove it and add your own point right you can make use of tools but use it to an extent that it is helpful for you after that if you feel that you can do something better than the tool then go for it so this is a video for today and i am very sure that this is going to help a lot of my subscribers and uh, make sure you provide the right prompt prompt is everything and if you feel that i have to do a video on chat gpt and share some important tips and tricks like this right and for free of course i am not going to take 299 399 or, or anything that you are seeing uh, on the youtube i am going to do it for free but if you ask me uh, to share some tips and tricks like this and uh, to provide you lot of information on prompt then do let me know in the comment section and i'll make a full fledged video on prompt engineering again thank you so much for watching this video please share this with your friends and colleagues who are interested in building the resume take care everyone see you bye